All right, module five, lesson two, our lesson objective for today, we'll be able to find the volume of a right regular prism by packing with cubic units and counting. Now, some definitions, we've already talked about one volume, and we know that's the amount of space that a subject that a substance or object occupies, or that is enclosed within a container. And we're really gonna be working with containers today. Now, another, one is called a rectangular prism. And I talked to you a little bit about that on the other day. Now, a rectangular prism will be like this, okay? If you notice, the base is a rectangle. And it's a, what makes it a prism, oops, what makes it a prism is that if I had like a real, let's say a sharp laser or something like that, and then I had a solid prism, and I started cutting it off in sections, each section would end up being exactly the same as the last for every time I cut it, okay? So that's what makes it a rectangular prism. One, the base is rectangular, and secondly, is that when I cut it up, it will all be the same shape. Now, it is also known as a cuboid. Now, that's something you'll learn when you're sixth grade. You'll use that term a lot more once you get to middle school. But right now, we're just going to call them rectangular prisms. Now, the standard we're still working with, MAS5, MD 3.3. And it's recognize, recognize volume as a attribute of solid figures and understand concept of volume measurement. Now, the one we're really going to be focusing on part of its skill is a solid figure which can be packed without gaps or overlaps using N unit cubes. And in other words, a number of unit cubes is said to have a volume of n cubic units. So n would just be a number that we place in there. It could be 20 unit cubes. So it has 20 cubic units as volume. All right. Now, first thing we have to talk about before we go into thing is what's called a geometry net. And remember when I was talking to you about two-dimensional shapes. Two-dimensional shapes just have length and width and they can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape. So in other words, like here, I have a three-dimensional shape here. I have a square, okay? But if the net is a pattern made up when the surface of the three-dimensional figure is laid out flat, showing the face of the figure. So if you look at this sheet of paper right here, I'll try to get it up close so you can see it. If you notice the shaded area, the shaded area is the base. Okay, so that's the area on the bottom. And you can see it's four centimeters squared. So just squared because it's area. And then I have the four sides drawn up. Now you will be doing this Monday. You'll have to make your own net like this. Now, once you make that net, the next thing you will do is you will cut it out like so. Okay, now after you cut it out, you will use tape and you will tape that net up like so in a box. Now you will take an estimation and determine how many cubic units you think it needs to fill this net, okay? Now I'm going ahead and fill this one real quick. And you can see when I put it up next to camera, I put the first layer in here, okay? And the first layer has four cubic units on the first layer. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to put the second layer on it. And as you can see now, I have totally filled this net with cubic units. And I have a total of eight because I have four on the bottom and four on top. And remember what I told you before, that, that shaded area is basically the area of the base. That's length times width. So it was a two by two, as you can see here, is a two by two. Let me get it in the camera. There we go. It's a two by two, so that's four centimeters squared. But I had two levels. So once I add that second level to it, that means now I'm talking about volume. So now I've got two times two times two levels, and two times two is four, four times two is eight. So it takes eight cubic units to fill this net. All right, so that's what we're gonna be working on on Monday. Hopefully everybody takes their notes and then we'll be ready to go right in the activity, all right?
Have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday.